professionals in the hospitality industries, of course. Uh, a very, very warm welcome, all of you, to our very first networking Skal Hadei East Thailand meetings. Let me use the correct word. Before we start with any talk or any discussions, can we all please stand up to do the scout toast, please? Hold your glasses and uh, please repeat after me. To fellow colleagues everywhere. To fellow colleagues everywhere. Happiness. Happiness. Good health. Good health. Good health. Friendship. 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 Long life. Long, Long life. School. School. Thank you very much. Please be seated. for PMTV at the Amari Orchid Resort for the Skoll International and East Thailand meeting. This is the very first meeting since the relaunch uh, recently. And today I'm sitting here with our guest speaker, Oliver Libutsky. He is the director of um, Asia Operations, I believe, right? Of yeah, I'm looking after the hotel operations of Agoda and all of Asia, in particular Thailand and all the Southeast Asian, South Asian countries. And today he's the guest speaker and what are you going to tell us tonight? Well I have been invited to actually explain and help everyone to understand how online distribution in the hotel industry works and how to optimize it. So everyone is familiar with Agoda I assume because we are producing a lot of room nights, a lot of business to all our hotel hotels in Pattaya in Thailand overall. Um, but there are, of course, a lot of questions from the actual senior management of the hotel how to improve. Because usually communication is on the middle management level, and this is a great opportunity to talk on the senior management level. So I assume there will be a lot of questions, and I'm here to, to answer those. What have been some of the questions you have answered regarding this, and what are your answers in optimizing the business? Well, the first question is always, how can I get more room nights? How can I make more money? out of this room night and then uh, the answer could be well it's it's a very complex answer because every single hotel has a different situation it is about demand demand it's about location the way it looks on the website the way the pricing and the availability is done but the simple rule in our industry is always if there is no availability we can't sell the room so it's always about how many rooms are there to sell and then we can actually increase the business Agoda is a company that sells to the whole world. So we have business in the low season and in the high season. So when it comes to the low season, Agoda is without competition. Every hotel is really happy to work with us because all the rooms are empty and we can fill them. But from the moment we move into the high season, the situation is different because of the rest of the world moving to Pattaya, whether it's the Russians, whether it's the Europeans. And then we have a conflict. Who gets the rooms? Whether it's an online distribution or is it a two operator, like the Russian two operator or a German two operator. So in the high season, rooms are limited and then the question is, who gets them? There are many companies also who are doing what Agoda is doing. How are you different? How are you better? Well, that's a very good question. Um, we believe, because we don't know. But based on our success, we believe that our business model is very successful in the way that we communicate directly with every single hotel. We make sure that we have a manager looking after every single hotel. So we apply key account management, which means there is only a certain number of hotel that one person can manage in order to support the hotel, advise the hotel, consult the hotel, help the hotel. 
and the maximum is like 100, 150 hotels, whereas our competitors have a different approach. They just put in a few people and try to manage hundreds, maybe thousands of hotels with one person. This works to a certain degree, but it doesn't make all the hotels happy. And we are very successful because we distribute bookings to every single hotel from every level, every location. So we don't focus on particular hotels, we sell every single hotel. Anything else you'd like to tell us? No, I think there will be a lot of questions during the, uh, during the presentation. So I'm also eager to learn what the hotel GMs actually want to know from me. But I believe it will be also about the ranking on the website. This is a very, very popular subject with the hotel channel managers. I used to work for TUI, the biggest two operator group. So I was a, we call it offline person. Then seven years ago, I moved into the online industry. And what in the past was the brochure, the sales brochure where every hotel want to be featured in, today is the online world. We don't have brochures, but of course we have the listing of the hotels. And many, many hotels are very particular where the hotel is listed, on what rank, on what page, in what environment. And I assume there will be a lot of questions about this today. How do you rank? Well, we, we rank by performance. Of course, the best the hotel does, the higher is the ranking. But then the question is how you define performance. Performance is the number of booking, how much money those bookings make, how much traffic we have received to get this booking. So it's a, it's a very complex thing, so I believe there will be a lot of questions. And it's not also because of uh, the, the reviews that they get from the people on the website? No, I can tell you the reviews have an indirect impact on the, uh, on the ranking. The ranking is based on performance. The more bookings the hotel receive, relative to the number of people that were looking at the hotel, the better is the ranking. But if a hotel has very negative reviews, it obviously gets less bookings, and the less bookings gonna drop the hotel. So the hotel has to have good reviews in order to get receive in order to receive a lot of bookings, and then the ranking goes up. We have an algorithm, so it's a system which is recalculated every single day. So we put in all the numbers together, and then there comes the result, and then the ranking changes every day. Okay, so it's computerized, but it absolutely, works the same way. Absolutely computerized, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're looking forward to what you have to say tonight and uh, see what people are going to ask you. Thanks for your time and thanks for the interest. Thanks a lot, Thank you.